Hey everybody, it's Loading Ready Run Drafting Time. Wee. I'm Graham. I'm James. And we are here with another Theros Swiss Draft. And uh, we've opened a bunch of stuff, including A Curse of the Swine, which seems pretty entertaining. We turn everything to pigs. Not entirely sure what we're going to do. Maybe maybe, be, maybe before the end of the draft we can make some pigs fly. Maybe I, we draft I don't, I don't, mono animals. I don't see exactly how we're going to make pigs fly necessarily, but... Uh, I mean, you can... You could do it. Nimb- you just curse and then cast a naiad on a... On curse a Rome guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. And I mean, then make them fly. Sadly, there was a Nimbus naiad in that pack. There was also di- there was also a Disciple of Phoenix in that pack, and now we're getting past a Gary. Gary. Um, uh, I actually have no idea what to take here. Well, like, our blue option is poopy. Super poopy. Nobody wants that card. Well, I mean, he's fine, but just he's not exciting. No. I mean, I think Gary is easily the best card in the pack. But double black after double blue is always super awesome. But I like Gary, so. All right. Gary. Come on in, Gary. Gary and pigs. Oh, there we go. New plan. Oh, sweet. Excellent. Good. We've been looking for a for an excuse to try this out. So it's just all pixels all the time. <laughs> That's all we want to do. Is, is resolve this Pixis and see what happens. Oh, good, good. I'm happy. I don't even care about winning games now. I just want to. I just want to see the Pixis go off. Yeah, actually works well that we have a card that works pretty okay with it. It's true. But uh, yeah, <laughs> there certainly are some actually good cards in this pack. But who cares? Because now we have the Pixis Pandemonium. Oh, look at that, Ner Gary. <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary. All right, this is. You notice that both packs that had a Gary also had a sip. Yeah, that's interesting. Them print runs. Uh, well, hey, Fnatic is pretty good with get, or with. Uh, he's got an ETB effect. Yep, get on in. Just mono devotion. Just enter the battlefield effects. Um, I mean, this guy has it. I mean, they don't. They don't have to have ETB effects, but uh, no. But it's funnier that way. It is. Um, uh, I mean, uh, draw the card. Does this work? If an aura enters off of Pixis, do you get to? I think you still get to. Yeah, you get to assign it to the land and then draw a card and stuff. So there's that, or they can take the celebrants better with the fanatic. Yeah, I would take the celebrants. All right, our curse plan is it's kind of definitely not is nowhere near the best card in this pack. No, God no. But uh, I like that plan. Cyclops. Uh, yeah, Cyclops. Alternately, um, there is that guy, but we, I mean we're not at all doing Minotaurs. No, but we're. So I mean, we, ha- we want to be in those colors. Yeah, but I think in this case, I think the, the Cyclops is just going to be better for us. You're probably right. In the long run. Uh, ooh. Uh, Although, speaking of Cyclopses. Yeah. I think, I think Minotaurs. Or Minotaurs. I, yeah. think, I think we should still take oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Probably better than Our that. Curse of the Swine is looking kind of sad now. I know. That's okay. I don't care. I'm just so happy we finally get to... Is it Pyxis or Pyxis? I I only hear people say Pixis. I, okay, I've heard someone say Pixis once, and it, and it sounded wrong. But that's only because everyone else I've heard says Pixis. Oh wow, it wheeled. Sweet. I'm super excited now. This is a great deck for the Pixis. All right, sorry, Curse. You were fun and all, but now you are not what we want to be doing. I am very very excited to. So, how how aggressively do we mulligan to try and get a turn one Pixis? Uh oh no no, all right had a little little hiccup there, a little beta client hiccup, but we're back in it enough time to snap up a blood toil harpy. Looks like we only missed one pick, so we Did got we? a mountain. Oh yeah, awkward. Oh well, that's fine though. Who needs picks when you have Pixis? I think that's how that works. No, oh. what the what happened there? We didn't get a harpy. No, we ended up. We suddenly got two more. Maybe we missed more more picks than we thought. Oh yeah. What happened there? I don't know. That was a weird one. Oh, I've never encountered that with the yeah. Baby. That's that's a new one. All right. Well, we're still fine. Okay. We still have eight cards. That's unfortunate. And four lands. <laughs> four lands. Well, I mean, we you know we can use these mountains at least, and they're different. That's a nice one. This this mountain here, which I can't make bigger for some reason. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right. That goes in the Pixis deck. Snap it up. <laughs> it's also probably worth like a million dollars. It certainly has paid for this draft, I think. Well, I don't know if it's still up that high, but no. it's it's a... Uh, it's, it's good. It, it's worth a couple tickets. And yeah, totally... It's also just good. Totally is also just good. 
So, perfect. Nice. Yep. Done. Uh, given the options. Yep. All uh, right. So, really, we're building a pretty solid-looking red, red black deck. deck that's going to rely heavily on Pixis. <laughs> so, I, I think before we... I don't know if we actually answered those, that question. Um, how aggressively do we mulligan into one? Oh, right, right. Um, I don't really know. I feel like... Wow, this is a good pack for us. Uh, or there's some phalanx, another raider. I cure. Well, no, we're not. Uh, I could see taking the cure for just some removes. Removes. But removes. Uh, uh, we also want permanence. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, the phalanx is not really great for us. It can. It's not going to ever be able to attack. That's true. So. Um, I would say either the cure or the the raider. Yeah, let's just take more permanence. Sure. I was up against someone in the finals of an eight four the other day who had four death bell raiders. That's a lot. It was actually really difficult to deal with. <laughs> so coordinated assault is really good. Yep. Um, for some reason, I'm unable to zoom in on the cards at the moment. So that's exciting. Um, um, but uh, coordinated assault or the harpy that we missed, or the a spear point oread, which I also really like. I like the oread. I'm a fan. We don't have any three drops yet. Well, the Harpy is also a three drop. Uh, the Oread's better than the Harpy, though, right? I, I don't I know. Think. I don't actually know. I mean, Harpy's good. It, it's a little bit of devotion, a little, little ETB flavor there gets in the air. But yeah, Oread's really good. I mean, Coordinate Assault. Coordinate is Assault is probably the best. But it's, I mean, if we're trying to fix this here, then we just want things we, that we, stay. We just want permanence, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take the Oread. Oh, man. Oh, 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 Marauder! Dear God, yeah. This thing is. This thing can just. Yeah, just give everything. This thing <laughs> intimidate can just, and haste. Can just win a game. Yeah. Done. All right, get in here. And now nothing. Straight trash. So I'm gonna take this hopeful Eidolon away from somebody. Yeah. Because we're not. We don't want to run a bronze sable, and hopeful Eidolon. I mean, one of these the the stone creatures better. is pretty good, but the sorry, <coughs> Idolin. Idolin <laughs> is the correct pronunciation. Um, Minotaur. Yeah, I guess we just take the Minotaur here. He's shiny, which yeah. is which is nice. Um, yeah, I don't think we need a Dark Betrayal. Um, take away somebody's. I don't know, Savage Surge or Feral Invocation. I think the Invocation's better. I think. I think it depends. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. For for one extra mana, you get it permanently. Yeah, and it seems, it, it seems pretty. Sweet. I like that. Card. Right, I'll take the harpy here. Harpy though. here is good. Over a seven, although, seven, oops, mm, too late. No, it's fine. I could see taking like the uh, the Charlie there to ramp up and get that Pixis going faster. Oh yeah, Charlie the unicorn. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. Guess we're gonna take sick sick horse. Sick horse. Yeah, it's true because we do want to make sure that we get to the seven mana required to actually crack this thing. Yeah. So I think we should try. I'd like to pick up a unicorn or two. Um, the the whatever it's called, the thing that ramps out too. A uh, burnished heart. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, take a phalanx here. Yeah. Still fine. Uh, I guess I'll take this. It's voily. Yep. Do we even? I don't think we. we I don't think it any hits. Oh, it hits a wild celebrant or a monstrified ill-tempered cyclops, or and actually the, the fanatic and the stormbreath. Stormbreath dragon. dragon. Oh no, it doesn't hit stormbreath dragon. Oh yeah, because it's pro white. Pro white. Right. Uh, I don't care. Sure, take the scholar. Scholar, scholar is yeah much better. Yeah. Defend the hearth and. All right, uh, so we need six cards. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. I'd love a third Gary. I'd like another fixus. Like fixus. Any any. That would be sweet, actually. <laughs> yeah. Any way that we can hit. Oh, that works, All right, too. that works, too. <laughs> Ding. Any chance that we... Oh, look at this. A pair of elders. Nice. Do, do. With the animation turned off, it just looks like there's two in the pack. And it doesn't... Because I assume one of them's foil. Yeah, this one's foil. Yeah. It, well, you can see it. You can From see, my I, angle, not so much. I guess your angle on the monitor is a little different. Yeah. So, yeah, Overlord works very, very well for us as well. Yep. I can see this... Yeah. Actually, getting past the second Pixis would be pretty sweet. It would be amazing. I can see this. Uh, I can see this deck either going off or actually, I can see this deck either going off or being actually just pretty okay on its own. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is a perfectly reasonable uh, red black deck. I like that we we have <laughs> apart from the Pixis, we have no spells. <laughs> Flame Speaker uh, Adept. Oh, actually, no, no, another, another disciple. Another yeah. disciple. Disciples are sweet. <laughs> 
James is just recovering from a cold. Yeah. Um, so all these cards are basically not very good. So, like, I don't even know. I guess we could take a Spark Jolt. Yeah. Scry. Scry our way to our Pixis. Yeah. I mean, it's and not a good play- speed. But yeah, we need bad. playables right now, so just take it just in case. Ooh, Gary. Ah, uh, what? Gary. I, I was like, yeah. I my eye darted around the pack. <laughs> I went, ooh, ordeal. Ooh, a sip of hemlock. And then I went, no, I should look to the right. Ooh, a read the bones. And then, of course, there's I skipped right over Gary in the middle. So, absolutely. Three Garys. Triple Gary. Ooh. Ooh. Go uh, oh, four Garys. You did the same thing I did. You were yeah. like, oh, I saw the gorgon. Yeah, I saw the gorgon first. Huzzah. Yeah. Then I moved over. <laughs> I've never had four Garys before. Oh, my God. That quad Gary, though. And there's a sip in here, and like we'd take that too, but you can't say no to Quad Gary. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, uh, what do you think here? Co- Boy, that's a lot of Battlewise Hoplites. It I've is. Seen. Yeah, we've what do passed you think? a lot. Coordinated Assault, Farika's Cure. Uh, We're pretty heavy black, so we can definitely cast the Cure on, t- on turn yeah, two. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just take the Cure. All right. I think we want to be... I don't think we're going to be as aggressive as the coordinated no. assault. I mean, it, it it's it's great on blocks too, but I think we want to be just holding things down until we can. Sip. Ooh. Or read. I actually read the bones. Really? Yeah. Well, that lets us get to our uh, pick picks us. Oh man, a lot Sip, faster. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's yeah, tough. We need to dig for our. Yeah, I want to cut this spark jolt now. We've got to dig for our win condition. All right. So we now have. There's our current 23 with and only three... Three non-creature spells. <laughs> Non-permanents. A Pixis. Actually, I mean Pixis is a permanent as well. But. Yeah, but a Pixis, a Cure, and we're, and read the bones. <laughs> so our two last picks and our fourth pick. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. Boy, I really hope this goes <laughs> this goes okay. I really hope that we Don't. turn one... I want to go turn one Pixis and then exile, 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 exile till seven. Mm-hmm. And then blow it to get four Garys, <laughs> two Disciples, and an Overlord. Do we want to... I, I think we want to run 18 land in this, actually. Possibly. I think I'm going to cut the Wild Celebrants. Because I think we want to... That curve. We want to... That, 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 you ruined that, our curve. That brick. There was a curve. We we definitely want to get... If you just pretend the red cards aren't there, it looks like a curve. <laughs> That's true. We, we want to make sure that we get to seven mana. Actually, if the red cards aren't there, it's a wave. Yeah. Uh, I our deck is perfect. I don't care. <laughs> um, nothing in here harms our Pixis. So, I mean, we can take March or Portent. I'm gonna take nah. Portent. Sure. I mean, yeah, I could. I could see almost cutting Acolyte. Too. Cutting cut the Acolyte from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have the Portent deck. Um, sure. fade into antiquity. It oh, kills. Yeah. It kills wow. our Pixis. Yep. It sure does. Demolish also kills our Pixis and could be good. I mean, this does as well. But this we could theoretically bring in if we have to. I sure. Messenger speed. Sure. <laughs> Terrible. The worst pants. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Totally running both of those. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a late cutthroat. All right. So you get out. You get out. Probably don't actually want the cutthroat maneuver. And I do think we want both read the bones. Yeah, I want both read the bones. And we probably still want... Let's cut the Flesh Mad Steed. He's yeah. so pretty. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that was in there. Boo. All right. There we go. So this and 18 land. And... We win. <laughs> and we win, of course. Oh. All right. So now I say we just aggressively mulligan into Pixis every game. <laughs> at, at this point, yeah. Just down to one every game. With four, four Grey Merchant and two Disciple of Phoenix. Like... We can't lose. Ignoring the Pixis, this is one of the best decks I've ever made in Theros Limited. It's pretty good. I mean, Stormbreath Dragon, Aberrant Overlord, Four oh, Garys, yeah. Two Disciples, Para Read the Bones. Like this is actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, um, thirteen and five. We probably don't need to go. I could see twelve six. Twelve yeah. six. I yeah. Yes. I mean, there's the Death Bell Raiders to hit on two. We could go. We could. We could go eleven seven probably. Probably, I don't know. We have a lot of double black. Yeah, I mean, we'll hit it on the 11, so if you want to go 11-7, that's probably fine. All right. And there's our 18 land. It's the uh, do the alt art switch up for added value. Ooh, we got <coughs> two we can switch in. Baller. All right. 
<laughs> Sweet. There, there's the deck. See you in round one. <laughs>